Hi folks, god, what a colossal, <laughs> massive mistake I've just made. I don't know why, but the whole of that last episode did not record. So I'm just going to go a quick run round of what I have actually did on that last episode. Luckily it wasn't that exciting. I went over to the spruce trees and um, I collected tulips and I collected some fern and I found an egg. But I went over to get the um, spruce trees and hopefully to find some pumpkins. I know it was disastrous, wasn't it? And you know the worst thing is, I actually did a practice recording before I did it and it was working. So I don't know why it didn't work the next time because um, I'd already practiced it. So that's a bit upsetting. Anyway, so I did find some spruce trees and I got some saplings and I planted them down and um, here's my pumpkin farm it's a bit worried about the sheep on it but um, yeah never mind I'm gonna do a fence around it um, so I picked up two pumpkins made them into seeds and planted them over here so this would be the pumpkin farm I think that's a good place because it was right next to the other um, vegetables and wheat that's growing and I finished the harbour. I haven't done all this once, so <laughs> it's really strange to be saying it again. So I finished the harbour. I'm really quite pleased with it. I um, was going around this side and um, left some of these grasses because I think they looked really nice. And then I planted some over that side as well. Now, I did all the um, fence with the birch wood. And when I came across the oak bit, look. I thought it looked, it looked really good and because I have trouble finding out where the gate is this is perfect so that would look quite nice as a pattern I should think now I put some lily pads in and I did some trap doors over here and put some boats in don't know how long the boats are going to stay uh, put some potted plants with flowers around and look I put the um, the vines on these ones I thought they looked really good and as they were going down, I thought, you know what, they look good on the little house because I had done this with the birch wood, but it just kind of uh, planks, but it blended in too much. So I did it with the wood. I can't believe it's night time. Missed me. Oh no, it doesn't go on there, does it? Because it's. Um... Oh, oh, yeah, I do. I work on. Sit next to the vine. <laughs> Sleep next to the vine. So as you can see, I used the new doors. And I thought they looked great in the harbour. Oh dear in the harbour house and put the plants around it, 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 I really like the new stuff so I put some pots up here because <laughs> I just thought they looked nice um, and in here look I used the wooden shovels I thought they looked like oars these ones so I made them out of wood and put the boats in and a chest I don't know why that's still there but you never know I need it over here so I'm quite pleased did the roof to match it up with the doors um, I think that's a really good innovation, the different doors. And um, the um, spruce one looks really nice, looks a bit like um, an oak cabin door. So this is the harbour, the harbour is finished, I'm really quite pleased, I don't think there's anything else that needs doing. Oh look, the, the boat's floated out there because it was in the um, one of these trap door ones, and this, this one keeps doing bubbles. I don't know why. There you go. <laughs> it's a leaky boat. Don't go on that one. So I thought that was quite nice. And I've left the birch trees around it because I think that blends in quite nicely. Um, so I'm waiting until they grow tall and then I'll put some torches on them. So that one's going to be chopped down. But I shall leave the others. And that's that area finished. Yes. Ha ha. Ha ha. So I have had did a lot of chat about what I was going to do and one of the things was um, I decided to do a tree farm underneath the um, storage room so here's the new door I'll just put one down you get it back still as the as, the, as an old one but look, isn't that nice that look that would look lovely in like a wooden cabin I think Use your axe, get the right tool out. So, um, 
getting a lot of these doors now, aren't I? Because you get three now. There it is, there's a spruce wood there. My seeds back there. Now, it wasn't too far to go to the spruce wood place, and that's where all the, um, the tulips were. Now, here's the pit, that's what we'll be doing next time. We're going down there, and then underneath here, between here and the storage room, I'm going to dig down further and make my wood farm down there. So that's going to be a mammoth task because it's going to be a lot of clearing out. Now I was surprised how quickly I got to um, the spruce area. I shall do it again for you because it was um, a nice view of the castle actually. The castle could be easily seen, which is a great landmark. But I still want to do Patch Tower. I think it's a a nice thing to include on each of my seasons, the patch tower. But I don't know if it's going to go with the castle because of it all being stone. So I might build it just outside the castle. Or here's another thought: I might build it as at zero zero, um, or I might build it over here somewhere. Here's all the tulips. Look at them; aren't they pretty? Uh, build it over here and use it like another landmark. But I did want to go up as high as I could and as low as I could. And I thought it would be quite clever to do that both in the same location. I did leave a leave a leave um, some torches out somewhere. Oh, there they are. And um, a chest because I did put my bed here. God, that was close. I nearly went down that dip. Um, yeah, so... I was going to do it in one place up high and down low, so um, it's going to be quite a, a task to do, so I've got to get the right location. I might, as I was thinking, go as far as I can see the castle and then do the do the pillar and then it would be like another landmark if I see the, the pillar then I know I'm not far from the castle. So there's the castle, it's pretty good I think. You can see it from up here as well. These spruce trees grow really tall. So it's a good landmark and it's um, nice. I like it. I might actually clear all that out. Make it flat so you can see it better. That's another idea. Just give myself more jobs to do. <laughs> but I found the pumpkins quite quickly. Because <laughs> I thought it would be a big expiration. Because look, I bought myself 64. I bought loads of stuff with me thinking. Oh, I could be over here for a long time. Could even be like two episodes. And it wasn't. First of all, I thought this was a pumpkin, but it's a lava. So I've got. I've got um, open lava. Surface lava, it's called, isn't it? Um, and I just saw the pumpkins. There's just two of them. Just over to one side. It doesn't take much f um, trekking around at all. And then as I was walking over there, a chicken laid an egg. So I'm just hoping the chickens might lay another egg because I want to do a bit of cooking. And I need eggs. But look, you can still see. Maybe you can still see the castle. No egg. Okay, so there you are, folks. I'm sorry you missed it. Uh, the recording didn't work. Let's hope this one did. Or I'll be doing all this again. <laughs> I might leave it a while. <laughs> But lots of nice flowers over here. I'm not sure if the orange tulips give you orange dye or not. It'd be handy if they did, wouldn't it? But it's very pretty over here. Lots of sheep around, so that's good. We'd like to do a bit breeding the sheep, give them different colours. But look, just just literally over the water. So, folks, um, a bit of a short episode, I think, because I've done everything, really. Just wanted to... Um, update you on what's going on. Could start to finish the fence off around the, um, the pumpkins, which might be a good idea because it does look like the, um, the sheep could trample on them. And um, the other thing I was saying was that uh, my flag, I think it should be patch. I'm not sure how that would work. But I do remember assistant saying you could lay on top of it, on lay on top. So I don't know if you can overlay so many. It would look a bit like a patchwork. Because you only have to do one and then you can just copy all the others, can't you? But I thought that would be great if it could be all patched. I might get, 
get a little bit of research going on that and uh, let's see if that can be done. This bush tree hasn't grown inside yet. They do grow quite tall some of them so that might give me lots of leaves which is more potential for more saplings. So, um, things would. So we could do like two a two tone, two tone fence thing. And uh, that's a craft bench. So I'm not sure if it's. Still, I'll just keep a little bit back because I'm not s sure about. Oh, the sticks are the same, aren't they? Are they the same sticks. I made I made a gate, so it must be the other way around. I thought you needed the same colour sticks, but the sticks are the same colour. There we go. Yeah, that should be enough because it's not, not a huge area yet because I've got enough seeds. I was saying the pumpkins take a long time to grow the first time, but once they have grown, they're quite good at growing quickly so you've just got to get go oh there's my spruce tree my first spruce tree folks there are all lots of leaves on that isn't there that, he does like that doesn't he the um sheep careful you're gonna get locked in okay so we've got the fence here okay. yeah i told you you need to move i thought you trampled him on there but all he's done is um he's used up a bit the grass that's okay to move Mr Sheepy. Thank you. So I think we'll come out a bit further around this side because I'll have a pumpkin there. I'm going to hit the tree aren't I? The tree might have to go so much for my little house over this side. Oh gosh I've run out already. Um, well luckily for us there's a spruce tree here. So we can drop this down because we want more saplings and then we get some nice spruce trees we'll leave them but we'll leave them a few outside and we'll put the rest um, I haven't got a charging bench left over the other side put the left downstairs in my um, tree area that I'm going to make okay so it sticks either side, isn't it? No, it's not. It sticks in the middle, I think. Oh, goodness me. Oh dear, we're in real trouble. Let's just see if we get it right first. Yes, sir. Do that way. Do that way. Done. Okay. Right. So we'll just finish this up. Oh, night time. It's me. We'll just finish this off. Maybe not. Maybe we'll say good night now. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye, even. Put my tree back. Yeah. Okay, folks. So I'm um, just going to quickly finish this off. There we go. Around the tree. <laughs> it's quite funny, isn't it? Well, you have to use your fence posts up, don't, don't you? So we need to do it this way because we obviously want enough room to walk around. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to finish it off with this type. You could do a checkered patch effect on it, couldn't you, if you wanted to? <laughs> there we go. We finished, folks. Yeah. So that'll do for now. I can protect it, won't it? Thanks for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye.